here with our good friend Sharky and today is Friday. It's the very last day within our career week. Thank you all for participating, taking all of your quizzes, watching all of the videos. Today on Friday, you're going to be learning about different people who work in different fields, multiple different fields within our community. So that means you're going to hear from a photographer, a correctional officer, so many people who are giving back to our community here in Marysville. Enjoy! So, um, what is your name? My name is Justine. Um, Justine, um, what is your job title? So I am an owner, a business owner. My company is called Black Market and we do marketing and design. What, what is your career? So I do social media like Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. So I work with businesses. So say like um, a restaurant, like an Applebee's, we, we work for them and we take over their social media. So we post things for them on YouTube or on Instagram. We design their menus for them. We'll make them logo. We'll make them a big flyer. Um, and we just basically work with all different kinds of businesses. What is your, the best part about your job? Oh, the best part is I get to be my own boss. So I get to make my own schedule. I get to, you know, um, have full control over my business. So if I want to go shopping one day, I can go shopping. Or if I want to go on vacation, I can go on vacation. But I like to that I can be my own boss. I like it when I'm a boss too. Yeah, that's it's the best. And fem girl, girl bosses are the best. <laughs> did, did you go to college? I did not go to college. No, I finished high school, um, but I did not go to college. I wish I did, um, but I didn't. I just kept working. Well, um, tell us what what a day in your in your life looks like. Oh, let's see a day in my life. So I'm always on my phone or on my computer doing design stuff. Uh, we do website design. We make logos for businesses. Um, and then we do stuff for social media. So like Instagram or YouTube. Um, so I'm always just designing stuff or I'll take a break, take my dog on a walk or, you know, go on lunch breaks, but I'm always on my phone or on my computer. Um, what a, advice can you give to me and your fellow peers? Let's see, never give up. Anything, you can do anything. And I know it sounds cheesy, but I never thought that I could own my own business or be where I am today, but I never gave up and I always stayed motivated and I worked really, really hard. So just work really hard and never give up. Okay, thank you for your time and for answering my questions and bye. You are so welcome. Thank you, bye-bye. What is your name? My name is Vanessa Melendez. What is your career? My career is, well, let's see. I guess the best way I can answer is by breaking it down. So I work, I currently work for the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Uh, I started my career as a correctional officer. I promoted to correctional sergeant and uh, I uh, went from working in a prison in an institution to now working in the background investigation unit. So currently my career consists of me helping applicants become correctional peace officers for my agency. What is the best part about your job? The best part about my job is helping people that are very deserving uh, obtain a career in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also um, rewarding to find people that really care about the community and help them obtain a career here to make a difference for our agency. What advice can you give to me and my fellow peers? My advice to you is uh, to enjoy your childhood uh, keep in mind that uh, some decisions that we make as teenagers can potentially affect us uh, as adults. 
So as long as you live with the model of, about, of, of do, just do the right thing, um, I think you should be fine. Don't, uh, don't take anything too personal. Be open-minded, uh, lead with love, and really just care about the people that are around you and show them that. Yes. Tell us what a day in your life looks like. That's a good one. Um, I do different things throughout the day, but uh, my uh, job assignment at this time is with the hiring process. Uh, one of the components in the hiring process is you have to take a lie detector exam with us. So we have to make sure that you're completely honest. So you see that computer behind me right there? That's the computer voice stress uh, analysis computer. So I use that computer to interview applicants and ensure that they're being completely honest through the hiring process with us because hiring honest uh, individuals is, is our top priority here. Um, so about the lie detector back there, how do you guys know if they're telling the truth? So the machine kind of snitches on them. <laughs> um, so we run them through a series of questions. I interview them. Uh, we have discussions and then there's a microphone that they put on right about here. And then I ask them the question. They give me yes or no responses. The machine tells me if they are thinking about something pertaining to a question that we already discussed. There are certain patterns that I look for in the machine. If it shows me a, what we call a deceptive or stress pattern, then that means that there's something else that they're not telling me. So that's, that's how that machine works. And that's how it tells me that they're not being honest. That's cool. Uh, that's that's the time we have for today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for uh, for the questions. And I, I have a question for you, Max. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I haven't thought about it yet. Is not there right something now. you're leaning towards? No, not really. Not really. Just enjoying childhood okay. as well I can. There you go. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Enjoy it for as long as you can. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank you for your time, Max. Have a good one. You too. Let's do it. Okay, so hello. Uh, would you like to start off by introducing yourself? My name is Kayla Webb. Okay, and what is your job title? Um, I am the lead photographer and owner of Ashton Imagery Photography. Okay, and why did you choose your career? You know, um, oh my gosh, I love this. Um, uh, my grandpa, my papa, had a camera in my face since I was like this big. And so, um, although I hated it back then, he's no longer with us. And so for me, looking back at all the memories that we have together is like my favorite thing. And I want to be able to do that for everybody so that they can see pictures of their family and big events that happen for them. So that's why I do it. Oh, okay. And how long have you worked in your field? I've been doing this for 10 years. Oh, okay. And what is the best part about your job? Oh man, um, probably when I take a picture and I show it to the person on my camera, like I'll take my camera and like turn around like this and show it to them. And they get so excited just to see themselves like through my lens, it's just super cool. Okay, and what kind of photos do you take? Um, I specialize in weddings, okay. um, but I also do family photos. I do like baby bump photos when people are pregnant and then I go into people's houses um and take pictures of like newborns and their families and that's super cute too because they're so tiny did you go to college i did not i went to the school of youtube i learned <laughs> everything i know from youtube how long did it take you to learn all you know how to use the camera and how to edit your photos oh girl i am still learning but <laughs> and, and i never really stopped but i think i really got the grasp of things it took me about five years to really understand because technology is a lot and it's always evolving and so to come where we have I mean I'm still learning things that are new I just found a new program two weeks ago that's expediting my process for editing so it's it's always a learning process but you get kind of the foundation and then you just take off after that so it took me a little bit but I'm doing okay okay that, that's uh I can understand that uh did you have to travel for your job Yes, I do sometimes, which is super awesome. We went to uh, Mexico last year before everything went crazy with COVID. Um, and so that was fun. And we're going to LA this summer. Okay. Which is awesome uh, to do wedding. What has been your favorite place to go to for photography? 
Oh man, Mexico is definitely, I was Cabo San Lucas. It was absolutely stunning. So that's a place that'll stay with me forever. It was incredible. Okay. Uh, what advice can you give to me and my fellow peers? Um, don't give up on stuff that you love. If you really love it and you keep coming back to it, never stop pursuing it. I fully believe that you had put, that fire has been put in your soul for a purpose and that will eventually help other people as well that you step into that calling for your life. Never give up on whatever it is you're dreaming about and keep going hard at it. And you're going to get there because you were meant to do it. Thank you so much. Okay. And do you have anything else that you, like, that you would like to say? I just, I think you've done an awesome job with this. Congratulations, girlfriend. Keep going. Thank you. <laughs> um, I want you guys to just, like I said, keep, keep doing whatever you're doing. It's going to take you a little time to figure stuff out. It took me a while to figure it out what I wanted to do. I just kept coming back to this and I pursued it and every door has been open for me because it was meant to, because I'm supposed to be here. So when you know, you'll know it. And I just say, find something you love and go hard at it, sis. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. This was so much fun. Yeah, you too. All right. Bye. Bye.